Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and in this video, I'm going to list all of the ATSC 3.0 next-gen tuners available for purchase. For those of you who don't already know, next-gen TV is the latest over-the-air TV standard that should someday replace the current ATSC 1.0 broadcast in the United States. If you're a cord cutter or into antennas, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Now, before everyone rushes out and buys one of these next-gen tuners or TV sets, I want to make it clear that we are still in the very, very early stages of this thing taking off. It's not like the digital transition of 2009 when broadcast TV stations had to shut off their analog signals in a matter of a few years. The current ATSC 1.0 broadcast will stay on the air in most markets for at least another 10 years. If you want more details about this, including a list of markets where next-gen TV is live, I have a video on this topic attached in the description of the video. Some features of the new next-gen TV standard include better reception, more channels, mobile viewing on the go, 1080p and HDR picture. With the exception of one paid over-the-air TV service, there is no 4K yet over-the-air and there won't be for a while. I also have a video on this topic attached in the description, so don't rush out to buy a new TV set just for 4K. It's not going to happen for a while. Despite this, there may be a few reasons to invest in a next-gen tuner right now. The new standard is a lot more robust than the current 1.0 standard and it handles multipath much better, which is problematic for some people who live in a heavily wooded area. In some markets, the next-gen signal travels much further than the current 1.0 signals, as noted in my trip showcasing next-gen TV in Pittsburgh. I was able to pick up the signal on a relatively small antenna 80 miles from the broadcast towers. The first next-gen tuner I'm going to talk about is the most affordable one. It's the Silicon Dust HD Home Run Flex 4K. This tuner doesn't directly connect to your TV set, but rather works as a wireless gateway that connects to your home's internet service and can be accessed on a variety of devices like a Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, even your computer or smartphone. At the price tag of about $200, it's an affordable way to pick up the next-gen signals if you want to be an early adopter. I include a link to the Silicon Dust HD Home Run Flex 4K in the description of the video. Another affordable next-gen tuner is shipping out soon. This one actually does connect directly to your TV set, sort of like a set-top box. It's called the Zapper Box, and you can pre-order it for $329 with some units shipping at the end of the month. For those of you considering a new TV set, I want to make it clear that most next-gen tuners are only available in higher-end TV sets. The same thing happened when ATSC 1.0 launched in the 90s. It was only in higher-end TV sets that looked sort of like this. The cheapest TV set with a built-in next-gen tuner is a 43-inch Sony X85J, currently on sale for about $600. Most of the other next-gen enabled TVs are around the $1,000 price tag. I attach links in the description of the video to some of the more affordable LG, Samsung, and Sony TV models that have next-gen tuners built into them. For those of you thinking, why aren't all new TVs or DVRs next-gen capable? As I said, we are still in the very, very early stages of this thing taking off. There's no government shutdown date for the current 1.0 broadcasts, and most markets don't even have next-gen TV broadcasts. And even those that do, the demand to pick up the next-gen signals is very limited. It doesn't make sense for TV and DVR manufacturers to spend more money when the market just isn't there yet. Be patient. At some point, there will be enough demand to the point most TV sets will have next-gen tuners built in. But for now, it's going to be a while, especially since the current broadcasts are not going anywhere for at least 10 years, and that's in markets where next-gen is live. For a list of markets where next-gen TV broadcasts are live or coming soon, visit watchnextgentv.com. Hopefully this video helped you understand a bit about the new ATSC 3.0 next-gen TV standard and some of the capable tuners out there. Most of you do not have to buy a new tuner yet. Only if you're in a next-gen market where the current 1.0 signals are unreliable due to multipath and tree issues, or if you want to be an early adopter of this new standard. I would have loved to witness ATSC 1.0 launch in the 90s, but I was basically in preschool at the time. Although I was playing around with antennas on old analog TV set when I was five years old. 
I wish I had a picture to show. Before I end this video, I want to bring up one really cool feature of next-gen TV that's pretty exciting. It's the feature of mobile TV on the go. Sinclair is currently working on a smartphone that has a built-in next-gen tuner, which I may be able to showcase in a future video. Marshall, please convince your boss to let me borrow it. I haven't had fun with a tuner built into a cell phone since high school when I looked like this and this. Yes, I did own multiple cell phones with built-in analog TV tuners about a decade ago. This is a story I may cover in a future video, but let me tell you, it was really cool to have access to local over-the-air broadcasts right on my phone without the need to use data. Thanks again for watching this video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos, including updates on the new next gen TV standard and have an awesome day.